There's a four letter word that reminds me of you and you know what it is? Poop. Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reaction Deviants. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram. Yep. And Twitter. You know it. More. Juicy content, baby. And childish behavior where we talk about things like poop. Hey, more so on Patreon. <laughs> And follow the <laughs> Twitter account. Uh, ring the bell to be covered notifications. Go on. <gasps> Today we're reacting to a. It's this. I don't know if you've ever heard of them. No, nope. I don't know what you're talking about. This video is called VFX Artists React to Bollywood Bad and Great CGI. Bad and Great? Yes. Well, who are these supposed VFX specialists? Do they work for Industrial Light and Magic? No, they're their own company. Oh, uh, well. Coriander Crew. Uh, they're, they're, well. Actually, they're actually a really good uh, YouTube channel. Okay. Uh, you know how people like um, Marines will break down uh, yes. military yes, 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 and yes. stuff like that. And, and say how, how yeah. good it's done. And... These are VFX artists who've worked professionally. Got it, got it, got it. And they have their own channel. Where are they, where are they from? Are they they're Indian? They're, 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 no, they're American. American. They're American. Okay, cool. They're here in LA. Um, but they're actually really good. I watched them often when they come out with videos. Cool. Uh, I like them a lot. And but, this is what they do? Yeah. Okay. They've done one before. This is the second one. Uh, and so, uh, of the Bollywood. Um, and so. I hope it's some of the things we've seen. We'll see. Yeah. Here we go. I am still having trouble wrapping my head around this. Oh. <laughs> Dude, he's just chilling so hard. We just discovered a hidden secret vision effect shot. Hey, what's up? Welcome to another episode of this. Oh God! What, the? what happened to the couch? Where's Clint? What's up, everybody? Welcome to another wonderful episode of Visual Effects Artists React. This time we are back with Bollywood. Tollywood. Jollywood. There's a million names for it. We're calling it Bollywood because it sums it up nicely. I'm very excited for this Bollywood episode because, I mean, Last honestly, episode, I, I truly love Bollywood. Bollywood. I love the passion things. behind it all. When Bollywood, Bollywood is Bollywood. good, it's like just okay. any they, American they don't hey. but on like total steroids. It's got this crazy, like, they over the top of it. And when it's right. bad, it's kind of like a really awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Either way it goes, I love it. I want to see that scene. Dude, I love how they're just trying to kill this guy. They're like, let's crank the bar up so high. Oh my god. He did it. Somehow got more velocity. <laughs> yeah, he got sped up as he came over the top. Is this awesome. a commercial? It's, yeah, it's basically a Pepsi some commercial. Some hardcore product placement. This looks like South Indian. So how did they do it? Is it? They just did it for real, I guess, probably. This looks like the most classic Bollywood type of effect. Wire removal. Wire, Wire removal. removal. That's an intense shot. So how do they... So how do they... Oh, do that yeah, good shot? point. So if it's on Looking wires, down at it. the wires would be, well, I guess they'd have to like hide it between the wires, the camera. You know? he, he might be on some sort of like hip. Thing. He looks like he's on a hip thing. You can even see it in his shirt a little bit. It looks like he's not that high off the ground, and also the ramp disappeared and the like pole vault <laughs> thing disappeared. Everything <laughs> disappeared, yeah, yeah, basically. And maybe that bar is CG. The bar is probably CG because the wires sort of clipped it, yeah. And also, there's like no definition in that bar. So yeah, it's, it's like, like black solid. A, <laughs> or a red solid? I'm colorblind. Oh. How are you a VFX artist? <laughs> Sometimes it's hard, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, all the signs are fake. Yeah! Every single sign they are. is fake. EFX <laughs> is probably the visual effects house that Magic on this movie. Emotion. So this movie is about a guy who's got like mythological ancestry and powers, which is why he's basically a superhero in the modern. Oh my god, yeah. So he's not doing sweet jumps, he's fighting bad guys. Yes, basically. He's got the whole line of an ancient swordsman in him. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh man, look how giddy he is. So and shop this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, who's this? <gasps> who's this? His portly buddy. Oh, you can't hold on! Oh, dude, yes! Oh, oh man, he actually did that. That was a that was physics. stunt there. My first reaction was like, oh, it's miniatures. And then, like, no, man, they really put a truck into a helicopter. Like miniatures. No, it's like an actual set with a green screen. It looks legit. I mean, it could be. It, it certainly could be a miniature. I think they just did it. It looks well, legit. Yeah, it looks I think legit. they just took a thing like that and threw it on a ramp and just like put a slingshot of it. Well, look at the, the also, way the helicopter actually moves after it's being hit. It flexes in a way a miniature can't flex. Yeah. Isn't that fire coming out of it? Like, oh, the power. Whoa. The power is like. Look how tiny the jump is in that angle. That was a tiny jump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's real. That's that's all. That's, yeah, that was a truck and a helicopter. So they're manually rotoscoping that fire. Do you see that? Yeah. Oh my god, there's so many errors. Look at the mask. And then look oh, at the feather on the right wow. side, too. <laughs> Funny how they could pick that up. Just oh, uh oh. What's the plan? <laughs> Dude, yeah, dude, did. that hot dog, <laughs> freaking right. <laughs> it's so bad. Just, once again, just the impact is the transition point. He's actually holding on, and you'll see right around there. See, click. Yeah. In motion, you don't see that little glitch. Overall, other than the fact that the CG arm looks <laughs> kind of like a hot dog, yeah. you know, the actual execution of doing that shot is really good. Yeah. Agreed, agreed. Oh, and also notice how he's actually specifically turning so that his arm that just got chopped is away from camera. Had he rotated the other way, you'd have to use effects to track in a stump. Right. Yeah, it'd be a lot harder to paint out the arm, too, because it's yeah. going to be oh, coming. Absolutely. It's easy to paint out an arm with this, but once it's over your body, if you paint it out, now suddenly you have an arm-sized gap you have to now fill in with custom elements. Speaking of arm-sized gaps, I actually got a clip for you guys to watch. <laughs> <laughs> what a segue! Zero. That's okay. This is Bob. What? Oh. oh! I can tell you right now, I know this actor, and he's a normal sized guy. Yep. So this this is a movie about a little person who is very well off, and they're trying to find themselves. He's actually five seven, and in the movie he's four eight. <laughs> The effects in this movie are so flawless, it hurts my brain. That's a full-on camera move. Like, a, it was tracking backwards and also panning to the right. Yeah. Yeah. Is this like Lord of the Rings stuff? Or there's... Right. No. No, it's, it it's, wasn't. it's easy enough to do a camera move and have, you know, regular-sized people and small-sized people. They did that on Lord of the Rings. We right. broke that down in a previous episode. But they're holding hands holding here. That's hands, what's blowing right. my mind. I'm very confused. Isn't, but, doesn't, it, doesn't this hurt your head, dude? Like, it does. Let me, let me break this down for you guys. So every shot in this movie, which had this actor shrunken down to 4'8", they had to shoot five takes for one take. And they wow. pieced everything together in post. When we did Boss Time Dynamics, that was probably like a five, six, maybe seven step process. This is a 28 step process to get this guy to look like a little person. Wow. So the first take that they did was just the actors walking together with the huh. floor removed. All of their sets were kind of like Legos. So all the floors could be moved around and, and, and taken out. Magic, so he's wow. sunken down. And he's holding hands, oh. they're holding hands. They're both in the oh. shot, but they're still holding hands. So the hand holding is real. The hand holding is real. Oh, okay. The next take they do, that actor on the right, doing his motion with no people in the background, no extras, holding his hand out without the main actor. The next take is a clean plate, no extras, just, just the background. Then they do another take, extras only. And then the final take is the main actor holding uh, an invisible hand. Talented. It's just him, no extras, walking down, and holding his hand out. That because like speaking of arm sized gaps, yeah, when you're painting something out and you have a hand sized hole that you need to replace, you need that information. So the actor by himself is the information that you would need to shrink him down and fill in the gaps with. But, 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 but that doesn't make sense though. Like what, but how is he, like, it's not just him being shorter, he's like scaled. Right. No, he's exactly. smaller and thinner. His so hands are really like scaled. Scaled for that. Oh. I think they're using all the takes and different pieces of it. So it's like they're able to merge different parts of each take together. 
Yes. That's what it seems like to me. This has to be a motion control system, right? Yes. They had some pretty intense uh, technology to shoot this movie. Because if that was the case, then that crazy camera move they do at the end isn't all that crazy. Yes. It's repeatable. So I guess that the body double is like the reference. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Okay. And the very next shot after this, where it's just like kind of a medium shot on both of them. They still shrink him. They still shrink him. Like his shoulders aren't as wide. Yeah, right, his shoulders, exactly. He's proportionate. Yeah. There's less distance between his shoulders. Right. See, that's the thing. If it was just lower, it would look janky. Yeah, it, exactly. He is I, I see what you're saying. Like, this is some tricky compositing. Yo, you guys, you guys really see something nuts? Look at this. Dude, that hurts my head. Like, she's interacting with him. I am wow. still having trouble wrapping my head around this. I, I see the elements here, but I, I, I can't I tell how like that film, but that's good CGI. How do they look so naturally locked flawless. and synced together? I don't know. If you guys have any insight on some zero visual effects besides the one behind the scenes video on the internet, please leave a comment below. Let us know how this is done. We gotta crack the case on this one, man. This one is intense. A lot of guys. What you gonna do when they come for you? When they come for you. Oh, watch out, we're good though, because we got this guy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dude, he's just chilling so hard. Look at that, look at that track, look at that janky track, dude. Oh my god. You see, like, oh, the, wow. edge, the edge map that are It just keeps time. going. He's <laughs> They're all superheroes. Yeah, seriously. Oh, two BBs? Oh, it's Volusion Bombs. Yo, Fire Bees. Yeah, South India. Oh, I got a car coming at me. No problem. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna stop it. <laughs> that, that's nice. <laughs> like... Alright, so this is Ambala 2015. One of my favorite Bollywood action scenes here. Let's go back to that Jeep jump. This one actually, for once, looked like it wasn't done in the original shot. Oh, dude, so this is like Photoshop. Yes, nephew Photoshop effects. Because the perspective <laughs> doesn't <laughs> goes from frame right to frame left. But they did put a reflection on the van. Yeah. Like, I was about to say wire work for this stuff, but now I'm watching it, it's like, oh, wow. But stay tuned, because the very oh next shot, the very next shot is the wire work stuff. Okay, that's definitely a, at least a wire shot because the perspective of the car is changing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel bad for the stuntman <laughs> on the Jeep in that shot. Look at that impact, he's just like, Crunch up. <laughs> <laughs> the snapshot freeze frames are honestly the best part about this, and I can tell you how they did them. So they took the camera from three <laughs> different angles, and the, the onset still photographer was mm. like, all right, photo shoot time. Dude, yeah. those Matrix bullets. Those are actually, wait, <laughs> never been touched by a human hand, but perfectly, perfectly pristine. So this is probably a VFX shot, because they're rotoing out the ramps the cars are hitting. Uh -huh. Yeah, like it's a real explosion, ramps. but then the... Uh... It looks like the base of the explosion is fake. Yeah. Because I think they're like reworking it to paint out the ramps. Was he winking at the camera or the ladies? The ladies. The ladies. I mean, you can see the ladies in his glasses. Oh, you're right. You literally see the ladies in the reflection of his... And the Wait. reflection is actually tracked onto his that's, glasses. That's visual effects. We just discovered a hidden secret visual effects shot. Yeah, what? you see how they're, the people are moving you're with right. his glasses yeah, yeah. as opposed to like... <laughs> I was asking that question as a joke, and, but you're totally right. They literally tracked the ladies into the reflection. But see, they should be in one spot and his glasses revealed them. Right. And then when he moves away, they stay in place as it wipes away. But in the shot here, the ladies actually move with his glasses. It's like he yeah. has bifocals. That means he has eyes only for these ladies. No matter where he looks, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. ladies. Yes, I had no idea until just now. I, don't think, I, th I think it's a detail of the shot that no one noticed. <laughs> Ambala. Ambala. Bravo. Yes. Bravo. If you guys have any sort of Bollywood scenes that feature a dude cooler than this, I will not believe you, but maybe leave it in the comments down below. Hey guys, Jake here. You might know me as the producer around here. Cool. Yeah, they're, I, I like them a lot. Um, but also, <laughs> I know I'm sure people gave them crap in this one because there was, I'm pretty sure, only one Bollywood film. Yeah, they were just categorizing it they, all as Bollywood. Which we've done before. We get it's it. It's easy because, like, when we do like laugh challenges, it's easier to say Bollywood compilation, even though they have a bunch. It's not going to read correct if you say Bollywood, Tollywood, Collywood. No. South Indian, Malalium, 
compilation. Right. <laughs> so they, they kind of just did that. Also, uh, they're probably like most Americans that I, they didn't, I know, I know they know now because they got told in the first one. Okay. Um, but prior, they assumed, prior, they assumed it was most all Americans, Bollywood. they only know Bollywood. Which isn't, a, a, we thought that same thing. We yep. did not know there was anything else. Yeah. So you got to forgive certain people for certain things, but they're really talented in breaking down stuff like that, like stuff a normal eye wouldn't see. Yeah. Like, it's like with a musician. My ears won't hear what a musician right, ears exactly. will hear. Right, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and so I, I like that a lot. <laughs> we know that there's a bunch of, in, and there's even in, but even though a lot of this was South Indian, and people don't realize that the characters in those films are like gods. Yeah. And so that's kind of why they can do what right, they do. Right, do five physics. And, uh, and there's some bad CGI there, but there was some bad CGI in uh, Dangdu, or what, what was that one? That uh, yeah, with... Uh, Ajay De Devgan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, Saif Ali Khan, there was bad CGI in that. In a few spots, yeah. Yeah. It was pretty awful. Uh, <laughs> so it's not, it's not one industry or the other. It's right. just, they don't spend a hundred million dollars like they do on Avengers here. Right. They just, they're not going to do it. It's not fiscally responsible, honestly, right. for anybody but Disney to take away. Right, because <laughs> Disney knows that they'll make a billion dollars, so they can spend a quarter billion. I think they made like... On like five of their films, like this year, this past year, like a billion dollars. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they're gonna. That's win. why they have unlimited budgets. <laughs> it's true. It's unbelievable. Yeah, but I like these guys a lot. Uh, let us know what other videos we should react to down comment section below. And can we do any like visual effects? You end this. Explode. Mind boggling. <laughs>